welcome uh, this lecture and uh, this lecture is basically a chapter 14 entitled scattering absorption and dispersion and for this i am following the book classical electrodynamics by sp puri and under this chapter i will cover following chap title uh, sorry topics scattering of electromagnetic wave from a free electron known as thomson scattering then i will talk about scattering of uh, electromagnetic wave from a bound electron relating to rayleigh scattering then i will talk about absorption of radiation by bound electron then the theory of uh, dispersion after that i will discuss the dispersion in dense media and finally i will talk about causality and dispersion relations and here i will talk very important kramer cronning relations which are used in optics or to study the dielectric properties of the materials so let us have a brief introduction of this chapter here we will talk about electromagnetic interaction of radiation with matter electromagnetic radiation and how it will interact with matter so here we will treat the things classically not quantum mechanically but generally when we consider electromagnetic field as photons that means we are treating the things quantum mechanically and this quantum mechanical treatment helped us to explain various phenomena like photoelectric effect compton effect spectra of atom black body radiation but there are some interaction of besides these quantum mechanical advantages means uh, because quantum mechanics will help us to explain all these phenomena which we are not able to explain classically but if we will treat radiation classically and its interaction so with the matter then we can we are able to explain certain experimental results so that means we will avoid quantum mechanics so there are some cases where we avoid quantum effects and classical treatment is adequate in explaining experimental results and this classical treatment is known as 
classical electron theory and this is developed by Lawrence and Dick Lawrence and Paul True. And this theory helpful to explain conductivity of metals. Wave propagation in an ionized gas wave propagation in ionized gas frequency dependence or in other words I can say that dispersion frequency dependence of refractive index of dielectric medium so this is these are the certain advantages of classical electron theory and under this i will discuss these topics as i talked about in the beginning of the lecture so we will discuss all these topics one by one so thanks for watching this video and in the next video i will talk about scattering of electromagnetic wave from a free electron which is known as thomson scattering it's a very interesting article